O God, who before the passion of thy only begotten Son didst reveal his glory upon the holy mount, grant unto us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading this morning is from Exodus. And it came to pass when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tables of testimony in Moses' hand, that he came down, uh, when he came down from the mount, that Moses wist not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with them. And when Aaron and all the children saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come nigh him. And Moses called unto them, and Aaron and all the rulers of the con congregation returned unto him. And Moses talked with them. And afterward all the children of Israel came nigh. And he gave them in commandment all that the Lord had spoken with them in Mount Sinai. Until Moses had done speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But when Moses came, uh, went in before the Lord to speak with him, he took the veil off until he came out. And he came out and spake unto the children of Israel that which he was commanded. And the children of Israel saw the face of Moses, the skin of Moses' face shone. And Moses put the veil upon his face again until he went in to speak with him. Our Psalter this morning is from Psalm 99. The Lord reigneth, let the people tremble. He sitteth between the cherubims, let the earth be moved. The Lord is great in Zion, and he is high above all the people. Let them praise that great and terrible name, for it is holy. The king's strength also loveth judgment. Thou dost establish equity. Thou executest judgment and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt ye the Lord our God, and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among them that called upon his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spake unto them in the cloudy pillar. They kept his testimonies and the ordinance that he gave them. Thou answered him of them, O Lord our God. Thou wast the God that forgave us them, though thou tookest vengeance of their inventions. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Our epistle this morning is from Second Corinthians. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech, and not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not st steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished. But their minds were blinded, for until this day remaineth the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Christ. But even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. But have I renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Our gospel reading this morning is from Luke. And it came to pass about eight days after these sayings, he took Peter and John and James and went up into a mountain to pray. And as he prays, not prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered, and his raiment was white and glistering. And behold, there talked with him two, went, uh, two men, which were Moses and Elias, who appeared in glory and spake of his decease, which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. 
But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep. And when they were awake, they saw his glory and the two men that stood with him. And it came to pass as they departed from him, Peter said unto Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. And let us make three tabernacles, one for thee and one for Moses and one for Elias, not knowing what he said. While he thus spake, there came a cloud <clears throat> and overshadowed them. And they feared as they entered into the cloud. And there came a voice out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son, hear him. And when the voice was passed, Jesus was found alone. And they kept it close and told no man in those days any of those things which they had seen. And it came to pass that on the next day, when they were come down from the hill, much people met him. And behold, a man of the company cried out, saying, Master, I beseech thee, look upon my son, for he is my only child. And lo, a spirit taketh him, and he suddenly crieth out, and it teareth him that he foameth again, and bruising him hardly departeth from him. And I besought the disciples to cast him out, and they could not. And Jesus answering said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you and suffer you? Bring thy son hither. And as he was yet a coming, the devil threw him down in terror. And Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit and healed the child and delivered him again to his father. And they were all amazed at the mighty power of God. But while they wondered, every one at all the things which Jesus did, he said unto his disciples, Let these sayings sink down into your ears. For the Son of Man should be delivered into the hands of men. But they understood not the saying, and it was hidden from them that they perceived it not. And they feared to ask him of that saying. This concludes the reading for this morning. Jesus freak out. 